Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the return of the Fiat 500. So yesterday I was filming the A1 because I felt like it had been um, overshadowed by the Lamborghini over the last week or so. Now, the Fiat 500 is jostling in and wants to beat a piece of the action as well. I was going to say a bit of the action and a piece at the same time. How are we all doing? I hope you've been enjoying the content recently. And I know this week seems a little bit slower than a couple of last, the last two weeks because of, uh, well, I'm actually back in the office quite a lot and I'm trying to get through as much of the, the business side of the administration as possible, which I haven't done over the last two to three weeks. So it's an incredibly poor, important time of the year whilst I get this free time to be able to be at the SB Race Engineering office and try and nail as much as possible. In terms of plans, video ideas, if you watched the end of last yesterday's video, uh, you would have heard a couple of plans that I have to film a living with, a running video series of living with a Lamborghini, which will be coming in a couple of weeks time, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, almost forgot that now. Why am I coming in to the Fiat 500? Well, the office at SB is very busy, but the exciting thing is, I got too excited. My T-shirts have arrived. ATW have sent me the final samples on the first Supercars of London T-shirt tour, no, T-shirt Supercars of London clothing store. And as you can see, this is how it's going to look. Like I mentioned, it is going to have the ATW logo in to begin with, as I am collaborating with them. And this is the first t-shirt look. So it comes all very nicely packaged. Um, and I suppose you open it here. That looks super nice. And I know you can't get a feel for how good this feels, but the quality is amazing and it's one of the things that when I first even got introduced to ATW at Goodwood Festival Speed the one thing that I was completely wowed by so we've got a very basic SOL clothing logo right there and the reason why we are sticking to a very basic design is because I like basic t-shirts I like wearing plain stuff and it goes with everything and as you can see this is pretty awesome I can't wait to try it on the cool thing is with this is the number on the back, 001. What um, I will probably reveal, well, I'll, re I'll reveal it now, I'll reveal it now. The first product launch is these t-shirts and there is going to be a unique number of 100. So every single order, based on when you order it, will have a specific number, 001, 002, all the way up to 100. So the first product launch that is happening on the 27th of September is going to have 100 limited t-shirts. Brand new, completely limited edition, straight from the ATW factory. Ta-da! We have got the classic fit, white, SOL clothing t-shirt. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. I need to get back into the gym <laughs> to fill out these arms. But I'll tell you what, I don't know where, can you see that? I think that is awesome. And I was so particular about the qualities, the materials and the fit to make sure that it's something that I would buy but knowing that the quality is there, the price point is correct, but also that the design is spot on as well. And this is absolutely perfect. I'm just looking at myself in the screen when I probably should be looking down the lens as well. I have got a few more designs in the works, but like I mentioned previously in the vlog a couple of minutes ago in this car, that there is only gonna be 100 of these going for sale on the 27th of September. They're gonna be completely limited and numbered in the same way that Ferraris are numbered, in the same way that a lot of limited edition supercars are numbered. So I'm keeping that supercar theme and it is gonna be a numbered limited run that is gonna be going live on the 27th of September. So here we go, coming up to the MOT service center, right next to Watford FC's football ground. I used to have a season ticket here, now they're in the premiership. I'm highly jealous of everyone that does have a season ticket here, but let's go for a MOT. Oh, oh.
and we are away. MOT done. Passed easily. And now it is time. I need to swing this around. Let's see if that one works. Perfect. Now it is time to go and get the nuke. So I'm gonna squeeze out here. Yep, I'm squeezing out. With some massive agricultural tractors that could easily be transformers to the left of us. Oh my God. Right. So, <laughs> how can I explain what has just happened let me start with, I drove all the way back home from the MOT station to swap the cars over, to get back in the nuke and finish off my day. Then realized that my Audi key was actually in my rucksack, which is still at SB, because I didn't think that I would need it for this particular part of the day. However, I have just done a piece to camera about this without pressing the record button. <laughs> so, there you go. There is two things that probably make me one of the most stupidest and clumsiest person at the moment, probably on YouTube right now. <laughs> I can't believe that I have just been talking to you guys for two minutes and then I look over and my camera's still on standby. How's that for two fails in the space of 10 minutes? So I'm now heading back to SB to pick up my Audi key, to drive back home, to swap the cars over. I'm also gonna change hoodie, which I did explain, but my camera was actually on standby. I'm swapping my hoodie for a coat so that I can get some air ventilation in when I'm, I'm not gonna zip it up because it's, it's warm and this hoodie is making me warm. What's it going? Uh, no, my Audi key. School Yep. I'm losing brain cells by the minute. I have just locked up, was just about to get into the Audi, realized that I'd left my suction mount in the fear. So I had to unlock, go all the way back upstairs, get the fear key, all the way back downstairs, blah, 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 blah. Finally, four million hours later, I'm ready to go. And I've got the coat on, but you can still see the Supercars of London clothing logo right there. We've got some black friends here. We've got a Ferrari 360 in black with titanium wheels. And the Nuke is looking awesome. It's going to be clean tomorrow, even though it's raining. It's going to be clean properly tomorrow because look how dirty the wheels are. I haven't cleaned them yet, but look. <laughs> oh my God. I regret immediately doing that, but that is what it is supposed to look like. Jesus, those wheels need a clean. And oh my God, my hands need a clean. Oh, what a fail. But what do you think of this? Here you go. It's an ISO Milano Revolta. And apparently they are quick. Look at those spikes on the wheels. Looks like it's going to tear someone else's tyre apart. You know when you race and you stick them out into the tyre next to you? Bit of a beast. What a surprise that it's raining. Although you'd expect it to clean my car. But it doesn't. Now I don't know what is going on at the moment. I'm going to put you on the seat there. I don't know what's going on with the... The weather at the moment here in the UK, but oh, it is not driving friendly or Lamborghini friendly. And tomorrow, I am in the Lamborghini all day and night for the first time. I am driving into London. You may have already seen this on Instagram or Twitter, depends. Well, I suppose it depends what time I actually get to London. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is the first time that I'm going to take the Lamborghini into London. I've never done it before. 
The R8 seemed quite easy to drive in and around London, so we'll see how the Lamborghini does. It's going to be fun unless the weather stays like this, then it won't be very fun. The car will get absolutely filthy, I think. I really want to do some reaction videos with the Lamborghini because the car is so small with 560 brake horsepower, it is so fast. Plus, with the amazing gear shift, the E gear with Corsa mode, it's set up perfectly to do reaction videos, accelerating and just, well, the, the, the passenger isn't going to be expecting it. So I'm working on that. Um, but whilst the weather is absolutely atrocious, the light we are losing, I'm going to sign off. So thank you for watching and thank you for sticking with me <laughs> through these last couple of days, which have been pretty boring. I can't wait uh, to e film, edit, and upload tomorrow's video. So make sure that you subscribe if you're new, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Oh, it's raining. Quick, 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 quick. Ugh.